And now to an update to a story that we brought you last August. PepsiCo this month formalized its name change for the popular pancake mix Aunt Jemima. The decision to phase out the brand was made last year in the midst of the so-called racial reckoning in this country. But tonight the family of the first woman who played Aunt Jemima is worried in the push to correct perceived wrongs that her history is in danger of being erased. Our Deborah Roberts reports on the effort to preserve her legacy. A familiar box in kitchens all across the country is about to change for good. After 131 years, PepsiCo is rebranding Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. Get ready for the Pearl Milling Company Mix. And while some celebrate the end of this imagery, others not so much. For sure it was a punch in the gut. Why would you do that? At this specific time, why would you choose that name? Pearl Milling, the company that helped create the original self-rising mix, found success only after the two white owners hired a black woman to perfect and market the recipe. Your biggest hope was that what? That they would actually just put the histories of the actual women in, in place of Aunt Jemima? That was our hope, that they would do the right thing and acknowledge the women who made this brand successful worldwide. We first brought you that untold story of one of America's hidden figures months ago, revealing her unmarked Chicago grave, which recently got a formal headstone. For that to happen 100 years later, for her to get her gravestone, for her to get her tombstone, it's just amazing. You've probably never heard her name, but Nancy Green has likely been in your kitchen. When my mom would prepare pancakes, that was just part of the whole experience of being uh, in the household is that you sat there and waited for the pancakes to be prepared so that you could get them, you know, hot off the griddle. Right there on your pancake box. As a kid, my mother always made those. Everybody ate those pancakes. And Jemima pancakes. Her, her face on the box like was probably the one way that households were integrated. Add some butter and syrup. You'll like them. Aunt Jemima. Perfect pancakes in 10 shakes. The Aunt Jemima recipe pioneered by Nancy Green giving rise to the American pancake. Long before she pioneered that famous mix, Nancy Green was born into slavery in Montgomery County, Kentucky. She was taken away from She's not with her family, uh, but she is learning to survive and use her God-given talent uh, to still push forward and move forward, which is the story of most African-American people in the United States, that they, they use what they had to become what they were. After the Civil War, Green moved to a divided Chicago, becoming a strong voice at Olivet Baptist Church, the oldest black congregation. This church was noted for its work to shield those who had escaped slavery, who arrived here in Chicago, because there were many slave catchers in Chicago still pursuing people who were of African descent. Sherry Williams lives in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood and has been shining a light on Nancy Green's story for more than a decade. Most people have no idea who Nancy Green was. Why is that, do you think? I believe because she is looked upon as a character. As, a, as opposed to a living, breathing individual. Even connecting the dots for one of her descendants. She actually opened up a box uh, that we couldn't open. <laughs> Literally opened a box. Marcus Hayes only recently learned about his family's past. Uh, uh, when I found out about it, to be honest, I was shocked. Uh, and excited at the same time. A history forged through a recipe Nancy Green first whipped up for the family she cooked and cared for. It was so good that the boys would now tell everyone, hey, I have a, 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 a caretaker who cooks for us and she makes this amazing recipe and she calls them flapjacks. <laughs> and the milling company heard about it and knew that they, she was using their meal. They came and sought her out. Just like that, Aunt Jemima was born. The big debut, the World's Fair at Chicago's Jackson Park back in 1893. Green selling 50,000 boxes of the now famous pancake mix. She was the trusted face uh, back then 
you know, anybody who would look at an African-American woman cooking, they knew that they can trust her cooking. And over all those years, ads for Aunt Jemima never mentioning Nancy Green. She was a businesswoman. She created her own agency through what she did well as a storyteller, as a cook, as a nurse. After Green died in 1923, other women became the living Aunt Jemima symbols, ambassadors hired by Quaker Oats to continue the legacy. Last June, in the midst of the country's racial reckoning, PepsiCo, Quaker Oats' parent company, decided it was time for Aunt Jemima to go. And weeks ago, the new brand revealed. Nancy Green's family, disappointed, says no one reached out to them. What do you want to say to PepsiCo right now? Conversation. All it takes is a conversation. When you move in silence, only one side of the story is being told. If they had changed the name to Pearl Milling Company and still somehow acknowledged Nancy Green and others on the back of the product, might that have been a solution? That would have been a very positive solution. You know, how great and how noble it would be to acknowledge that you know that there were profound women who represented the product. There are people who are concerned right now about images, antiquated images, these minstrel images, which is why PepsiCo is thinking maybe it's time for that image to go. What's your feeling about that? In no time ever have I heard anyone in my community say that this image was one that was derogatory. So I don't know where that sentiment is coming from. In a statement to ABC News on the name change, PepsiCo said, our hope is that those who trusted and loved Aunt Jemima over the years will continue to support the brand as Pearl Milling Company and understand our need to evolve. PepsiCo maintaining it is a common misperception that the brand's original image was premised on a specific person. It's not about money. Uh, this is about the truth. A truth and a story now being told. Nancy, you're a storyteller, and now your story is being told again. After a decade-long push, Sherry finally raised the money to give this trailblazer a proper headstone and marker. She's long deserved. Headstone artist Mark Hunt not even aware of Nancy Green's past. It's been an inspiration to me, oh, and it's been... Uh, opener for me yeah because a lot of people like myself didn't know what she did carefully etching a face that will now be preserved for generations oh my goodness oh, oh my god oh my god phenomenal sherry getting her first look at the headstone she's fought so hard for I love it. Look at the details. Love born out of America's racial reckoning and the realization of hard work still ahead. You're about to go and view Nancy Green's headstone and celebrate what has finally become her, you know, official legacy. To have this name change happen now, just before you're about to go and acknowledge her in this way, it right. must feel it must feel a little different for you. Yeah, definitely leaves a hole. Uh, if she was here, uh, my words to her was, we're trying, we're trying. Um, we're sorry that it had to happen this way, but we're, we're trying. For ABC News Live, I'm Deborah Roberts. Her legacy certainly still lives on. Our thanks to Deborah for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.